Hello. As you may have heard, Bone Tome has shut down, so modding for H3VR has changed a little bit. So I'm going to be going over Thunderstore and R2 Mod Manager to uh, get back up and running with your mods. So R2 Mod Manager is what replaces Delhi Collective. So if you head over to Thunderstore.io, and the first thing you'll see would be the big R, click on that, and head to Manual Download. You can always browse all of the mods under Communities and H3VR to see what's brand new, but this is also built into R2 Mod Manager as well, so we'll just be downloading mods directly from the application. After it's done, we're going to open it and run the EXE right out of the zip. This is the default install location under App Data. Nice and lightweight, doesn't take too long to install. And we'll get to running it. So. As it's up and running, we can see there's a quite a short list in H3s at the top. Um, these are all the available games. You can also filter out just to see H3 VR should this list grow. If you're modding other games, you just want to hit select game as you will be presented with this every time to select which game you want to mod. If you're only going to be modding uh, H3, you can just hit set as default to skip this step. First time through, it's going to make some directories. And then we're going to be presented with the default profile. So you can make different profiles to load different mods at different times. So you don't have to sort through uninstall and reinstall things. Uh, but we're just going to go with the default one for now. So select. And before we get to downloading, we want to make sure we head to settings. And then scroll down to change H3VR directory. We have to tell R2 Mod Manager where H3 is actually at. So if you don't know, an easy way to do that is go to your Steam library right click on h3 manage browse local files in this path at the top you can just copy and then paste that right up here hit enter and then select h3 and select executable so now r2 knows where to start h3 at the only other thing to really worry about in this would be the change data folder directory R2 stores mods in a different location than the actual root of H3. So if you have a solid state or a separate drive other than what is defaulted here, you'd want to select that. So you can speed up your load times if your OS drive happens to be a hard drive instead of a solid state. Make sure you change this. Otherwise, everything should be good to go. Oh, this cannot be the H3 directory, the actual root. This just seems to crash R2 Mod Manager out of safety because they want to keep the mods separated. That's my best guess. but. So now that we are done, we can head to online, which browses all the mods we saw on that actual list on the website. Uh, we'll grab 5.7, hit download, and see that we can go back several versions and download with dependencies, which will grab all of the additional mods that we need for any particular mods. Under installed, we can now see that we have the 5.7 and our side loader, resource redirector, and Beppin all to get going with only downloading one thing. And after that, it's just as easy as hitting start modded and we'll be up and running. So a uh, couple things. If you have a mod that has a config file that you want to edit, you can head to the config editor, but note that those files are generated after launching the game with the mod installed at least once. So if you do something like Better Hands, you install it, launch the game, close, and then come to this area to edit these configs. So be aware of that. Uh, if you want to start without mods, uh, again, this is one of the nice things with R2 not storing the mods in the H3 directory. Nice and clean, just hit start, start vanilla, good to go, no problem. And if you're testing mods for other people, they might ask you to import mods. So that is done under settings. And you can import off or import local mod. Select file, you'll be given a zip file or if you write your own, this is where you would do that. And uh, it'll have you fill out a couple things just to name it so that it's able to keep track of it for you. But other than that, that's about it. Um, if you have questions, please let me know. If I don't know the answer, I will gladly get a hold of somebody who will help us out. So hope this has been helpful to at least somebody. And uh, yeah, have fun.